Welcome to Reality Create a Video. I'm Hermes, and today we're going to cover this new piece of equipment that I picked up to replace, well, not replace, but to uh, improve upon my old video microscope, uh, which was an Elk, Elk Cliff, I guess, and this is an Andon Star. And the reason I went with this Andon Star is because it has the biological lenses on here on the bottom that um, give me close-up images, not to mention the fact that it is a UHD, ultra-high-definition camera, instead of um, a 1080p camera like in, on the other one. And um, hopefully it's, would, it's going to give me much more detailed pictures, especially on the fine colloidals. Uh, the colloidals are high parts per million colloidals. I've learned so much about being able to see the pictures of the colloidals and the condition of the colloidals. And when it comes to high parts per million colloidal solutions like 26 and 34 or even higher, um, I can't see the particles. They're just uh, too um, small for the my original microscope so they've come out with a whole new line of these high definition microscopes and I couldn't wait to get one to to start the thing that I like a lot about this microscope is the lenses okay this is biological lenses and it's got space for four lenses it only comes with two and that's one of my complaints is it comes with, we're not sure what power these lenses are. They do not use regular conventional uh, 1x, 10x, 40x, 100x lens sizes on here. Instead, they tell you uh, the distance between what you're going to view instead of the power. So... Uh, I'm trying to figure out, you know, me and my chemist are trying to figure out exactly what power lenses come with, come with this. And the problem, one of the one, I, I, I'm very happy with the scope, but I mean, the one problem is with, with the lenses, they only give me two lenses. And for the third lens, which would be considered like a 1X lens, all right, um, you have to actually change this, this whole piece. You have to, you have to take this part out. And put this in. This is that's very cumbersome. Not to mention the jig that I had to make, my laser jig that I had to make, so I could use this kind of a, a setup won't work with this. And then I would need two separate jigs. So um, what I've done is I've ordered a 4x lens, which is the lowest lens I can get, that will screw in here. A uh, good thing about this is it takes standard lenses that you just screw the lens in you want. So if you want to do a lens upgrade down the road, you can take these lenses out and put better lenses in. And I just may do that uh, as I test various lenses. In the uh, all-in-one microscope I had before, I, I couldn't do that because they didn't. you couldn't change the lenses on it at all. You can only use the... Uh, ocular lens that was built in and the object lens on the bottom and you couldn't change those at all but with this microscope you can change the object lens which is the lens on the bottom so that is really good now to be able to use this we need my laser containment system and thankfully I have a 3d printer so I was able to print up a new setup which is a little different from my old setup um, the glass, the sample goes in here, and then you fire the laser up, and the laser goes through the, uh, the liquid, and then you view it. And, but I had to make something that, uh, will stabilize this whole thing, so I've done with this, I don't know if you, I'll take a, this rig here, which enables me to, uh, put the sample in here, and, um, stabilize the whole image, um, uh, my thoughts overall, I mean, this is an image I captured. You can't really see it too well, but I will post a picture of some of the images that I've gotten so far off of here, and they're quite impressive, I have to say. Um, so I'm very impressed with that. Um, it uses the same kind of thing, an SD card, which is in the back here, that you record your images on, 
the SD card. And then you take the SD card out and put it back onto the computer. Now they tout it as an HDMI thing where you've had a monitor, you could plug this, plug an HDMI cable in this thing and plug it into a bigger monitor. Uh, it comes with a remote as well, comes with buttons for control the light brightness. I have my, I've sent one of these videos to uh, my chemist friend, and she had it up on a slot on one of those smart boards in, in the uh, in her lab. And one of her lab assistants came in and said, "Holy mackerel! What the heck is that? You can you can see the the refraction off the particles." He was just like unawestruck by the video image from this thing. So it does do strikingly great video images. As a regular microscope, you know, you got these lights, okay, and there's also, you know, for, for illuminating your sample, and there's also, um, underneath here, there's a light also, so you can actually put um, slides, slides in there as well, and for those of you doing biological stuff and not, my col uh, not colloidal stuff, you could... Um, Take a slide and stick it in there and, you know, do, you, do your biological stuff. So it, it looks like a, a good biological microscope as well, from what I can tell. So pretty impressive on how far down it, it drills down um, with the lenses. So, um, okay, so my overall uh, critique of this thing. I think it's it's a it's an exceptional microscope. I would would like to see a model with a metal base. This is just a little bit shaky, especially when you're setting it up. You got to kind of like uh, set up your set it up and uh, make the wait for all the shaking to stop because you know if you've turned this to a different lens, okay, then it's going to shake like crazy. Um, of course. I'm viewing water, not slides, so that makes it all tougher because the water jiggles around um, more than a slide would. Um, the remote makes it easy because if I need to take a picture, I don't have to press the button here on the front and have the whole thing jiggling. I can just hit the OK button and start recording my picture. It takes pictures and video just like the other one. Um, I think the menu system is a, more, a little bit more accessible than the... Uh, than the my older microscope so now I did have a problem if you looked in my forum w by the way we got a brand new forum from YouTube and I want to uh, that's really terrific YouTube gave us a forum the other day so now I can post pictures in between my videos but anyway if you looked in the forum you found out that my first microscope died after about 20 minutes in fact I was in the middle of shooting a video and it just went out so I've now reshooting this video a second time uh, Amazon sent me a n another microscope and this one is working fine I've I've been burning it for you know tw leaving it on for 24 7 not 24 7 but during the day all day long um, to make sure you know there's nothing else going on so so far you know knock wood everything is solid with the replacement it came relatively quick so it's not a problem and you know Amazon returns are pretty easily done. That's about it um, for this introduction. I'm going to be doing a lot more on the microscope as I learn stuff about it and how to take better pictures. So I'm sure I'm going to have more video on it as well. I have a lot of great videos coming up. I haven't shot them yet, but I got a list of stuff I got to do. So uh, stay tuned to that. Thanks very much for uh, listening and I hope you enjoyed the video and the link below to this uh, new microscope is there in the description please click on it if you're interested in it um, I'm Hermes this is reality creative video and I will talk to you again soon